What is up YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a fabulous freaking day. We have some stuff here, guys. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but we got a delivery from good old FedEx today. Two boxes. I don't know what FedEx was really uh, doing here, but uh, yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't really know. But they are pretty fucked up, to be honest. Not gonna lie. But, as you guys know, we have been talking about getting headers in our full exhaust system for Zach's clapped out ship box that's sitting outside. Here's his other engine that he bought um, that we're going to be planning on putting in the car eventually. But, I wanted to kind of get the car on the road, get it inspected, registered, emissions, all that fun stuff with an exhaust system on it. To see if the engine that's in the car, which we've done some stuff to, Blue Devil, head gasket leak, all that jazz. Um, you can't really see it, it's like outside the door there, but... We've done some stuff to it and I, I kind of want to see, you know, if it, if it stays running and it can actually be on the road until we're ready to tear this engine down, do head gaskets, head bolts, all that fun stuff. Maybe cams, I don't know, maybe nitrous. We we're talking about that. And then maybe putting this engine in after that engine takes a shit. But as you guys know, we do have the headers here now. They finally have come. Um, it took a few days because they kept coming when I was closed and not open at nine o'clock in the evening. This is a business address, not a freaking residential address for some reason. So they were bringing them at like nine o'clock. But today FedEx showed up and they were like, yo, we got some boxes and they look like they've been kicked around a lot. I'm like, no shit. So thank you FedEx for that. I appreciate that. We're going to do a quick opening of everything, which I mean, FedEx has kind of done most of the opening for me. Thank you guys very much. And uh, check out what this stuff looks like. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the headers wherever they are. And we're going to test fit them on this engine since this engine is pretty much the same engine as the one that's in the car. I've heard some issues with the header pipe of eBay headers not fitting correctly around the alternator. And since we have this engine, we're going to test fit them. We're going to modify what we need to modify in order to make that all work. So let's get opening up these boxes and show you what some eBay headers for a Tiburon ship box look like guys all right guys i got everything unpacked behind me um packing was okay like i said this is not a paid advertisement for ebay headers at all i'm just showing you what i got here basically so let's take a gander first we have the headers obviously we have our one mid pipe and our cat delete off-road use only for zach and his clapped out ship box and then we have the exhaust system which is the cat back setup which is going to attach to the end of that uh, this pipe here and then I'm assuming it's this pipe that goes up over the rear uh, axle setup Zach did want the burnt tips and unfortunately I couldn't find the burnt tips on eBay so I just got them the four inch double walled um, hopefully you guys can see that double walled tips which actually look really nice the only thing I would have hoped that these were is I hope these were uh, slash cut but uh, they're not slash cut, they're just straight cut, which is fine. Uh, everything looks really, really nice, to be honest. Like, everything looks great. Also, you, it comes with all the hardware, which is freaking awesome. Like, some of these things don't even come with hardware, but spring uh, bolts for the, for the front. We got bolts here, we got exhaust gaskets here. All the exhaust gaskets, like every single one that you need is there, which is freaking awesome. But yeah, so basically, simple flex pipe, Got your O2 bungs for your O2 sensors and everything. But basically, it's literally just, you know, a, a plain exhaust system with headers. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to test fit the front header. So this would be the front of the engine right here, obviously, or the front of the car. So let's get the front header first, which is going to be this one, I think, right here. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think it is that one right there. Yeah, I think so. And let's stick it on. Oh, that one goes on nice. Okay. Let me get a bolt here. There we go. Put it on there. That way it doesn't go anywhere. I'd hate to, for the Zach's brand new header to fall off because I didn't put one or two bolts in it to kind of hold it. But it seems like it fits really, really well around the AC flush up against. 
Looks like it's gonna go underneath the pan just fine. We have all of our O2 bungs and everything that we need. That seems to be okay. Let's get the back header on. What I'll do is I'll turn the engine around because the light coming in the door is better. So I'll turn the engine around and we'll put the back header on and see what it looks like. Now, people had said that the back one runner will hit the alternator. I don't know if that's the case with these eBay headers that I've gotten, but we're gonna turn around, we're gonna see what happens. Worst case scenario, we may have to tell the alternator off in order to put the header on and then put the alternator back on again. But we're gonna see how it fits and see what happens. All right, let's grab this header here and see what we got. As you can see, it looks tight. It looks very, very tight. Um, I already can tell it's not gonna fit. It is hitting that pipe. Um, and I can't, uh, yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do since that's hitting that pipe is we're gonna have to remove this alternator. Luckily, since the engine's out of the vehicle, that's not gonna be very hard to do, which is a good thing. So what we'll do is we'll take the belt off first, and I think I'll disconnect this 13 or 12, loosen up this nut and just kind of have this hang out of the way. Not 100% disconnected, but just kind of have it drop down. All right, so we have our belt off, which is just that tensioner, little uh, 3 8 ratchet, just tension that. We have our bolt off here, and we have our nut loose down here for the alternator. And basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of get it out of the way there and hopefully this gives us enough of room now to throw our header in here which it does which it does look at that guys okay so we need some nuts because i do want to nut this up that sounded weird i do want to nut this up a better so i can uh get it up against the flange nice and tight i'll probably put a nut here and a nut here zip them in and then put this alternator back up just to see if it fits and if i need to do any modifications like maybe cut away at the plastic or maybe dent in that tube Alrighty, so that one's in let's get this one in that's in oh my socket went down there so the one thing i will notice is it is really really close really really close to the oil pan right there there you go you guys can see exactly how close it really is let's actually zip together the other one and make sure that's not hitting the pan as well or even close to the pan all right so i zipped that one on uh just the two bolts here as you guys can see and that one seems okay now i'm not going to test that mid pipe because there's no need for that at this moment i'm just checking clearances of these headers on this engine now like i said like i said you know they do say that this this alternator here does hit now it is disconnected right now um i have the bolt right here so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to lift this alternator up we're going to hopefully be able to put this bolt in its place right here and uh i don't know hopefully Hopefully it does not hit. So let's 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 see what happens. Maybe I could do this with one hand. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well it clears. Let's get that bolt kind of started. Okay, so that bolt's in there, and it's in there good. And as far as I'm concerned, I mean it does. It is close. It doesn't hit. But it is very, very close to the alternator plastic here. What I might end up doing is, man, it'd be nice to ceramic coat these, to be honest. Like, send all, send the headers and everything out and ceramic coat it. But as you can see, the eBay headers don't technically hit. They are very close, though. That's the only downside. They are very, very close. And remember, there, well, there is a gasket in here. It's the old gasket, but still uh what concerns me is how hot is this going to get like is it going to start melting that or anything of that nature um is it going to be an issue or anything of that nature um this is pretty much on there it's not really going to get uh any closer uh this does have a little bit of an issue with how close that is i mean you can tell you could barely barely put a piece of paper in there to be honest Barely, barely put a piece of paper in there. But I think, 
I think that should be okay. You know what, just for shits and giggles, guys, because I'm a shits and giggles kind of guy, you know what I mean? Let's, uh, let's see. So I'm going to assume this is going to go kind of like this here. I just want to kind of see, make sure it's not going to hit. Yeah, I guess, I guess it might be okay, maybe. Yeah, yeah, so it lines up pretty good. And it doesn't really affect it right there. So it does go underneath the uh, engine pretty well, which is a good thing. I'm very happy about that. Uh, yeah, so we won't bolt it together or anything. I don't want to do that right now. But I definitely want to show you guys a video of what these headers look like, what the exhaust system look like now that it's finally here. And basically now we know what we got to do. We know that with his clapped out ship box outside, we know we're going to have to uh, definitely address this pipe a little bit. Maybe put some heat wrap around it before we install it or something like that. Just to kind of keep it from burning up. Or maybe what we can do is put some heat wrap around the alternator down here. Some of that gold heat wrap from Advanced Auto Parts that you can buy. Um, I've used it on my Trans Am. It works very, very well. It does cut down heat a lot. So maybe we'll just do that. I would like to... Everybody's going by today, everybody. I would like to ceramic coat these headers. Do me a favor, comment below. Let me know, do you think I should ceramic coat these headers? I mean, I won't do the Y pipe or anything, uh, or whatever pipe you want to call that, but would it be worth ceramic coating these headers to cut down on heat near that alternator? Or should we just install them things on his clapped out chip box and call it a day? We are going to be eventually taking his engine out and uh, basically putting this engine in its place after we, re not rebuild it, but do head gaskets and timing belt and all that stuff on it. So, I mean, regardless, maybe we can ceramic coat them later, but comment below, let me know what you guys think. Obviously we got one more thing to do. We got to get our thumbnail, guys. We have to get our thumbnail. <laughs> so, let's see, how do we like it? How do we like it, guys? Headers, oh yeah, there we go. V8 off the side, maybe like that. That'd be funny, huh? Just bolt them right to the fender. <laughs> right there. Ugh, right there. If you think Zach would like that, comment below. Let me know. But uh, there you go. Headers for the clapped out ship box are finally here, guys. Now, obviously, you guys are probably wondering, okay, Andy, you got the exhaust system, you got the headers, now what? Well, unfortunately, Zach's in school and it's, you know, kind of not easy to get him on school days because of the fact that, or when I do get him on school days, he has homework and stuff like that. Even with all this coronavirus stuff going on, um, he has virtual school and then he has in school as well. So unfortunately, we're probably gonna have to wait till this coming weekend to install the exhaust system and the headers. And obviously we are gonna be making a full video of Zach and I doing that on the lift in the back, which I think he's gonna enjoy. And I think you guys are gonna enjoy as well. I don't know if I'll make it a one part series or a two part steer series of insulation. Um, the headers might take a little bit. So we might do like a quick header install and then we'll do a full video of doing all the, you know, rest of the exhaust and everything install as well. But I think he's gonna be very, very, very happy with the way this is gonna look and the way it's gonna sound. Um, I think he's gonna be very happy about it. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty excited to do it myself. I, I would do it right now, but I know you guys wanna see me and him argue about it and fight over you know, installing these headers and everything. So uh, it should be a pretty fun video. So keep a lookout for that. Please do me a favor. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. And as usual guys, deuces.